Yo, what's up? My name is Sven and today I'm going to show you guys how to set up your electrical components and smart components combined with the Rust Plus app so that you'll always know if you're getting rated, even when you're offline. Just to keep things clear here, I'm not going to show you how the app works and how to connect it. I'm purely going to be focusing on explaining you guys how to set up a simple system. If you want to get a full in-depth tutorial about how the app works, I would really recommend to watch the video from Mr. Flag. Anyway, let's jump into this video. So, before we jump into the full examples and explanation, I would like to make sure you guys know that the Rust Plus app is currently available on iOS and in the Google Play Store. Although it is available, that doesn't mean it's working yet. At this moment, it's currently only working in the staging branch of Rust, but it is planned to be fully patched into the game in the June 2020 update. Now with this update, two new electrical components will be added. The Smart Switch and the smart alarm. The smart switch is basically a switch, but it can be controlled from the app. The smart alarm is basically an audio alarm, although you will see in the app that it's getting triggered and through the app, you'll be able to set up custom notifications for your phone once this alarm in game is triggered. Now these two new electrical components form the basis of this video. So once again, if you'd like to get a full in-depth tutorial about how to link the app with your server and what the features are, I would recommend to watch Mr. Flex video where he covers the entire app. All right, so here we are with an example of the most basic setup, how you can use the smart switch. You can see we have a power source, we have a switch and we have it connected to a turret. Now this is the smart switch and just like a normal switch, you can still turn it on and off if you want to. Although this switch is linked to the app. And so if I go to the app and I turn the switch on, you'll see without me actually being there, I can turn the turret on. And so you can link a multiple amount. You can basically link any type of electrical ideas or systems, whatever you want to this switch and you can trigger them from your phone. And this is really insane. Now, besides the fact that this allows you to offline defend your base while you're not at your base or for example, while you're not at home and you can basically set up very, very advanced and useful systems to prevent the raiders from raiding your base or make it really, really hard to raid you. Now, as of right now, you cannot view the CC CCTV cameras yet from your phone, but I'm pretty sure that Rust intends to make it so you can. But that way you can fully get control over your base while you're not there, while you're not at your computer and while you're not even in Rust. Now that was it for the smart switch and the smart switch. I just want to wanted to cover it so that you guys understand the concept of it. Since this video is purely aimed to show you guys how to set up a system so that you'll know if you're getting raided, whether you're offline or when you're not at base, same thing. First idea, first concept and the most basic form of the system. As you can see, I just triggered a sensor and that's basically it. That, that's basically all you'd have to do. You have to get a trigger that can trigger the smart alarm. It doesn't matter what the trigger could be, but the easiest, the most easy to come up with example is the HPHF sensor. And so as you can see, the smart alarm is sending a message. Now my phone is currently receiving a message and it says alarm your base is under attack. As you can see when you press E on the alarm, you can customize this message to whatever you want. That's basically it. Now to how to link that alarm to the app, you basically have to do it with a hammer and I have it already linked, but it would show here link to app. Now you will realize that HPSF sensors are kind of weird. A lot of players don't actually understand how the exclude includes others authorized kind of thing works. And so they can be a bit unreliable. Also, they give away their position. For example, if I stand at this side of the wall, I can clearly hear there's a sensor in there and raiders will know that. So sensors are good. They do work. They do the job. But there is probably ways that raiders could potentially avoid them. You also have to see it like this. If raiders manage to cut off your power and the power to the sensor, it can no longer trigger the alarm. So that's very important to know. And with that said, I have a better system that's more reliable and actually easier to set up. While you always know 100% that you are getting rated for sure. What I expect people to do is I would expect them 
the link to push notification from the alarm to some kind of super loud notification on their phone so that when they're sleeping or when you're away you always always know and you always make sure to hear that you're getting raided and so you don't want to make it so that the alarm gets triggered for false reasons and that is why i'm going to show you guys my system and i call it the active power system and it works actually very very simple we have a power source which is linked to a branch to a switch to a next switch to a next switch and these switches are set on active they are on now the idea here works as following if you're getting raided a raider will blow a wall very obvious it will most likely blow a wall at least. So if this wall gets blown, it means that this switch will disappear. And so it will basically turn off. It will cut power. And so all the others, doesn't matter how many you have, it will stop the power flow into the blocker. Now there's a positive power flow out going out of this branch as well into a blocker. And so if the block stops, the power will flow through and it will flow into the alarm, sending a message to my phone. That's basically it. Like, that's all it is. So as you can see here, just to show you guys, there's currently output coming out of the switch over there. And so the power is getting blocked. And so the alarm is not getting triggered. Now, the only way to trigger the alarm is by turning the switch off if you have a trolling teammate or if the, if the wall is actually getting blown. So in most cases, you can do this in your honeycomb. But in some cases, you'll probably have this like in the outer core of your 5x5. So to show this in a better example, here we have a more direct example. And you should just ignore the HBHF sensors and these four alarms right here. Now, how I have it set up is very simple. There's a power source again, and the power source branches out again. And it, the first part of the branch is going into a switch. Now, I place the switch on each wall, even on the single door frame. I'll explain to you guys why in a second. As you can see, it's going all the way around. And if any of these switches get blown, you see the alarm gets triggered. Idea here is on a classic 5x5, five five, they will always just blow four random walls and so one of these will get destroyed and it will trigger the alarm now just in case that they do go through doors and they don't destroy the frame we have the hbhf sensors and in a 5x5 with inner peak downs this is actually the best way to do it and there's no possible way the raiders can get in here without either being detected by the sensor or by destroying a switch the sensor won't send out the signal as it's destroyed but that's why we have the switches so these two systems combined in a 5x5 is pretty much a way for you to never be able to get offline rated without you knowing or without you receiving an alarm. Now one final note here is that this system works perfectly on a 5x5 or on any base that has some kind of similar inner peak downs. All right, so that's basically it. Just a quick, short, simple video about alternative ways how you can basically always know if you're getting raided in Rust. Now there's a lot of alternatives, there's a lot of ways to do this. Although for me, this would be the most reliable way. Now if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments or in my Discord server. If you have any ideas, feel free to let me know and I'll try to do them. The link to Mr. Flex in-depth tutorial video about the app is linked in the description. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.